very very delicious I would say you can put as much as you want and I think this will be good enough for me hi and welcome to Spice and Pants today we'll be cooking this one dish meal known as chicken mushroom with scallion so let's start cooking Now I'm going to start to stir fry this dish. I'm using the Shogun by La Gourmet pan. This is a non-stick pan. Heat up the pan, add in a little bit of oil, swirl the oil around. If it moves freely like this, that means the pan is hot enough. Add in 10 grams of young ginger sliced, sliced thinly like this. Eight pieces of shallots, just half them will do. You fry them until they are fragrant. This is a very straightforward and easy dish to cook. I'm starting to smell the beautiful fragrance that's coming out from the ginger as well as the shallot. Now we're adding our garlic. Five cloves of garlic chopped. Smells heavenly. Really, really nice. Now we're adding our chicken. Two pieces of chicken Thai meat, approximately 420 grams. Cut into bite-sized pieces like this. Let them rest for a little while. Let them have full contact with the wok. You want to char them a little bit. Now just flip them to the other side. Smells so good. We are trying to extract the oil out from the chicken so that this dish will be super fantastically good. Now I'll pour in two tablespoons of light soy sauce. And also add in four stalks of spring onion or scallion using only the white part or white stem at this moment. Smells really, really great. We will add in two tablespoons of oyster sauce now. Mix them up well. Wow. I tell you, the aroma is really fantastic now. Really, really good. I will add in two cups of water now and let this stew for a while. I'm using medium heat now. Do not reduce the heat. I just want to evaporate part of this water so that the sauce will be thicker and much tastier. After this has been cooking for about 10 minutes, I'll add in 195 grams of sliced canned mushroom. We will let the sauce reduce further. When the water has reduced to half its original amount, we add in a little bit of sugar now to balance up the taste. I'm adding in half a teaspoon of sugar. Give it a stir. I'm so adding in dashes of white pepper. This is so good. I'll just give this a taste now. Wow, fantastic. Very, very good. I'll now thicken up this sauce. Just thicken to the consistency that you like. This will be good for me. Now we'll turn off the flame. Add in the rest of the scallion or spring onion that I've cut up like this. Put everything in. And also pour in one tablespoon of sesame oil. Give this a slight stir. And it's time to serve this dish. The dish is done, so I'll just lay this over the rice. Well, look at how beautiful this dish is. Very, very delicious, I would say. You can put as much as you want. And I think this will be good enough for me. So let's take it now. Now our lunch is done, let's have a taste. Wow. Super flavorful. I tell you, I can easily finish two bowls of rice with this. Really, really fragrant. You can taste the aromatic of the scallion as well as the 
the ginger, the shallots, mm -hmm. the sweetness of the chicken. This is really good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.